On the 23rd day of April 2020, as the rest of the country went to sleep, the 28th day of the nationwide curfew and cessation of movement, there was minimal action in the capital Nairobi, where dusk crept in more quickly as compared to any other time in modern history. But several kilometers away in the tropical island of Lamo, a haven of rolling dunes and exotic beaches, the perfect hideaway for Kenya's elite and a playground for the rich, normalcy continued. A normalcy that was shattered later that morning with the news that Chokromwe guy had been involved in an accident. Nine days later, the Kerocha Hiarez would succumb to her wounds, soaring the mood in Shela and turning it into the focus of a long and complex police investigation. When a woman is found unconscious at the bottom of a flight of stairs at her holiday residence in the coastal town of Lamu, the boyfriend's story is that she had fallen. But soon, police will have a story of their own. Lovers trapped in an unhappy relationship with a girlfriend who wanted to leave the boyfriend and a boyfriend who wouldn't let go. The lead has traveled to Lamu to investigate the crime or accident that led to the death of the 29-year-old woman. And in over 100 days, the prime suspect into what police at one point believed was murder is speaking for the first time. This is the lead, The Staircase. I am Brian Obuya. Patricia Tekra Wangare Muigai was the last born daughter of Tabitha Karanja and Joseph Karanja. She was the director of strategy at the family's expansive Keroche Brewery's empire until her sudden death in May of 2020. In the months leading to her death, Tekra had traveled to Shela village on Lamu Island. She had run away from home, boarding a bus for the first time in a long while traveling 290 miles for over 18 hours to meet her Omar Lali. Then came the lockdown, and as fate would have it, Tekra ended up spending more than 40 days in Shela. She loved visiting new places and experiencing new cultures, enjoying her life to the fullest. On the island, Tekra met a beach boy, 51-year-old Omar, son of Lali Omar, and fell in love with him. The lead caught up and spent days with the man who stole Tekra's heart while trying to piece together this love story that took the nation by storm in the shadow of a tragic cloud, laying the groundwork for a complex and controversial police investigation. Ilikuwa five o'clock. Nili toka sisuk. Ilikuwa na chana watoto wangu wawili. The oldest and the third born. Ilikuwa amekujia kutoka wangereza, which she hasn't been here for many years. Then, tuwe kunyo chaa, tukenda peponi. Tekra has arrived that day. Simjui, hanijui. Hamekana rafiki yangu mengine, tuka salimiana rafiki yangu yae, kazunguka tu. Kufika hapo Nye ndo wananita, tukaanza kukaa, kukunyo, kanuliza maswali mingi, we come by the right answers, haka nangalio kwa machi wangu, kana mimi, I fully trust you. This is the first words of take number kwa mba alikuwa kinipea. Anambia, I fully trust you. Tukakao siku huo for long night, 
tukienda nikampeleka kwa room yake kama kitu 2 o'clock akanambia usiende i'm scared i want to be with somebody mimi nikakana yeye nikalala hapo nikamwambia lakini mimi kawaida yangu huwa ninalala na nyumbani na nikiamka na mka na mtoto wangu mtoto wangu ana miaka 4 hapo akanambia it's okay tukiamka asubuhi tuta tutaenda pamoja that will be the beginning of Tekra and Omar Lali's star-crossed romance that lasted about 10 months. The two lovebirds will then start splashing hundreds of thousands in hotel bookings, flights and drinks, traveling from Lamu, Nairobi, Naivasha, Zanzibar, Ethiopia and many others in between. Staying in different hotels from Peponi House, Manda Bay, Majlis, Diamond and later Jaha House where the tragedy happened. But she was... She was the best person ever met. Na alikuwa akiogopa kila kitu. Kila kitu. Akiona paka, yonji ya endi. Akiona punda, anazika. Binadamu, yeto tembea, oo, natembea nyuma yake, atasimama. Mwacha pite. Yani, things, things like that. Tukifika la mutain, town, yeah, lazima ani, ani kumbatie, anaogopa, Watu wakisalimia, nikaanza kuu, nikaanza kumrekibisha. Nikaenda nae pole pole, nikaenda nae pole pole, hakaanza kupenda, kupenda paka, hakaanza kupenda binadamu, hakaanza kuwa marafiki. The duo even went to Naivasha, Tekra's hometown. The family will know for the first time about Omar, son of Lali Omar, as boyfriend to their daughter. Kwa muda, mama yake, akataka <laughs> akanipeleka kiasi kuja kujua niko na mtoto wake kutumia picha zangu akasema huyu ni shababu huyu ni som, mtu somali huyu ni beach boy maneno mingi sana lakini of course ni mzee huwezi chukua uzito me i'm very easy to forgive people also kwa sababu ukiwa huwezi kusemea mtu where are we going at the end of the day, sisi ni sisi kwa sisi tu. Nikikuja Nairobi ni wewe, nikikuja Lamu ni mimi, nikienda Matondoni ni huyu, nikienda Malindi ni huyu. We have to live with people. Omar says that was the beginning of countless hurdles in their love life. Nikienda nae tekra hivo hivo, mama yake hapo kuja kujua, nasikia sikuona lakini niliambiwa. Nilikuja konvoi garisita, sijui ni nani wala ni nani walikuwa. It was very frightening day for me. Nikaka. Kabidi nikimbie kwa nyumba, mimi nikaka kwa mto. The whole day from 9 o'clock. Uh, 11 o'clock, it was 6.30, 7. It was here that Omar decided to go back to Lamu, leaving his Tekra in Naivasha. But not for long, Tekra would follow shortly after, charging after the man who had stolen her heart. Akambia, amu mjui umari, ni mjui umari, ni mimi. Na kia umari ni mzee, we baba pia likuwa akiwa? mzee. Kwa hivyo shida. Sasa ndo mama amwambie, "Ah, hiyo shida ndo mimi najua ndo sikutaki kufikie." Wewe akamwambia, "Mimi ni life yangu, uachane na life, life yangu." Kwa hivyo chukweni kadi zenu, chukweni pesa zenu, achana na mimi na mfuata Omar. Na mfuata Omar. Kachukua basi, kija kanipata. Lamu. For the first time kuchukua basi. The Karanjas were not happy about their daughter's newly found love. The Karoche founders were determined to end the relationship. And just when the two lovebirds thought the storm was over, it was not. Fulani, akaleta brother yake, bibi yake na Shedrach. Ni bodyguard wao. Kuja kumongelesha Tekra, wa ili wame mkatana tikiti, warudi na ee Nairobi. Msichana ka, kakata, kuruli na robi. Ilikuwa vita wikubwa. Mshana. Pindi waliporudi ya watu, kwa mama, ya, kwa mama yao na robi, haka mama, 
love iliyoko baina ya Omari na Tekra haieleweki na hatuwezi kuwa kwa separate. Kwa hivyo sasa hawa watu ni niwaache tu waendelee na maisha na maisha yao. That is the time they accept. Na James akamwambia mama kama Tekra atamwacha Omari mimi nitamtukua Omari. Kwa hivyo kaendelea story mama kasa basi mimi akaambia mimi nimchukue Tekra ende na Nairobi lakini sasa vile nilivyotushika nikaambia mimi siwezi kuja Nairobi kwa sasa ikiwa Tekra atakuja feel free Tekra kasa mimi siende atanifungia washafanya before they gonna do it again Kamwambia mama if you want to make peace with your daughter itakubidi uje Lamu na mama akakuja wakakaa majlis After several attempts to end Tekra's relationship with Omar Lali, the family finally caved to pressure. Love had won. Tekra and Lali were left alone. They were unbeatable, garnering fame and repute across the little known Shela village. First day I arrive wataka kuniona mimi sikwenda nikaenda the next day jioni lunch hours kula lunch na wao wakanuliza maswala mengi nikawajibu at the end of the day baba akanambia nimekupatia mtoto wangu nimekupatia mtoto wangu baba mzee mwenye anaambia nimekupatia mtoto wangu lakini mchunge mtoto wangu okay to come make peace kwa sasa mimi nikaenda Nairobi naenda kwao nakula mpaka mwisho hata mama akasema ah mke mtaka kulala pia rumu iko yani the relationship was coming na yule msichana mimi alikuwa na mlid vizuri sana problem moja alinishinda ni pombe alikataa kuacha pombe nikamwambia at least usikunywe mchana kunywa after the sun goes down akanambia kwa niwe ujui mama yangu na baba yangu bana uza pombe. Wewe sija kuingilia mira yako na wewe usiniingilie pombe pombe yangu. Sasa nitamwambia ni nani si mtoto mdogo. Miaka 29 si mtoto mdogo. Kwa hivyo I have to accept it, si ndio? Nikawa mimi ruti yangu ni kumchunga. I couldn't drink. Mimi nilikuwa nikikunywa pombe saa 4 5 ya usiku. Lakini for the rest of the day nilikuwa mimi siwezi kugusa pombe kwa sababu anything happened to that girl. Tekra was many things to many people. A personality that will live forever in the memory and hearts of many in Shela village where she befriended locals and interacted freely with Lali's family. She would often visit Lali's home, cook with her sisters before retreating to her rented house. Nikutana naye tukiwa hapa hapa Shela bado mari kunifahamisha kwamba huyu msichana ni msichana wangu nataka kwenda trip huku Pate Island. Tukaelewa na bei kwamba atakwenda siku sita. Tukamchukua siku sita. Lakini alikuwa mtu mzuri mshallah. Baada ya kurudi hapo akatwalika mimi na shemeji wangu mwingine ambaye ndugu yake Omari anaitwa Isa. Aka tudhamini kwamba atachukua mpaka huko Naivasha. Tukaenda tukakaa siku nne. Mimi na shemeji wangu na mtoto Omari msichana. Tukwenda pamoja sote lakini kule tulipofika yale mapokezi yake mtu mzuri sana hata sisi wenyewe tulishangaa baada hapo tukafahamisha kwa mtoto wangu wa msichana wa nne na shemeji yangu na bibi ya shemeji yangu pia na wakaliko walikuwa kuna pati naivasha wakaliko pia nao kwenda kwa hiyo pati harusi kaambia watoto niende kwa sababu ashakuwa familia sio na alikuwa akivisit nyumbani full time ilikuwa very simple hakuwa mtu kwamba yeye ni mtu mkubwa alikuwa social kabisa kila masikitiko unajua Mwenyezi Mungu wenyewe kila kitu kina kikomo chake unashona hatukujali kwamba huyu ni Mkristo wale Muislamu alikuwa akija nyumbani anaambia ile eh, traditional nguo zako ndefu ujifinike usende na ulevi nyumbani alikuwa akija hivyo na watu wote walimpenda Tekra mpaka kukifuta hapo kulikaliwa matanga kabisa watu walikuwa wakilia ile kulia siku ile Omari ile kule ule Tekra vile mazoea sasa nilikuwa ni mtu hapendi fujo lakini ukikana yeye unakana kibinadamu 
Manaki mapokezi alitokea Naivasha. Si mapokezi yetu sisi wa Swahili. In several interviews over a couple of days, Omar hinted at several familial feuds between Tekra and her family. She was in her family the most outgoing and down-to-earth individual, just like she was stubborn. Conformity with expected standards was not part of her. She was very happy, but there was something that I which I didn't know. Maybe I have a clue, but I wouldn't say something I haven't, I'm not sure about, about it. Na pangine ni ina involve family na sitaki ku 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 interrupt. Hiyo ilikuwa ni mambo zao. It's better I leave it to them. Ni kitu tunaweza kuongea ni ile good time ilikuwa na na tekra. Yeye yeah, mambo yake na familia yake mimi I'm not going to be able to to talk. Kwa sababu yeye yeah, mwenyewe alinambia ni secret na lazima ni ni muheshimu hata kama hayuko. So so scared of all this living things. Tukatembea Kenya, tukatoka Kenya tukaenda Ethiopia, tukatoka Ethiopia tukaenda Dar es Salaam, tukatoka Dar es Salaam tukaenda Zanzibar, tukatoka Zanzibar tukaja Kenya, tukarudi tena Kenya. Tulishikwa na homa nyingine haieleweki, tukarudi Kenya. So Tekra kaanza kushikana na watu kujuana alikuwa na time akonambia mimi i'm going to see my friends lakini the problem alikuwa ki choose wrong friends sasa mimi na yale kwa tukubalia naomba wewe kwa sababu wale my friends wanamalika kwa nyumba na mimi mambo yako ndako manyumba my friend kwa sababu all my life wako hapa nafanya mapati zao hawanialiki since then tekra and lali related in words and actions as though the two were husband and wife. The duo journeyed through several parts of the country, but Omar Lali is not new to traveling. The man's passport, issued on 26th August 2015 in Pretoria, South Africa, reveals that he spent about 15 years in England, living with his second wife, who bore him two daughters. The man also has another wife in Netherlands, with whom they have a daughter, and back home, a Swahili wife, with two daughters. And then there is Tekra. Ayumi. Ayumi. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. We miss, miss you. you. What probably shocked many is how Tekra flawlessly interacted with Omi, the youngest daughter of Omar Lali, whom he sired with his Dutch wife. In this video, Omar and Tekra were wishing Omi and her mother a happy new year. Uh, you and Mama, happy time. We miss you. We will see you soon. Very, very soon. The two women, it appears, had no problem with each other. But a police report we have seen hears none of that. We will see many things together. Animals. Animals. Kulikuwa na project ingine tunayanza na Ivasha ya hoteli na camping site, restaurant, yeah restaurant naba. Ata tu kwa tumeanza kusafisha kwa na landi yao ya baba yake, ata tu kwa tumeanza ku kusafisha. Ata sahihi kuna picha apa me zake. Tumeanza kwa kanyama, tumeanza kwa kandegi yao ilikuwa tumekuti sasa tu kwa kwa pata ika kwa mtoto wangu na kujia kutoka Holland ika nbidi sasa na mimi ni jehuko. Mimi nikatangulia nikamwacha yeye kule kwa sababu alikuwa kazi factory akakaa kule siku 2 3 akaja The natural and most obvious place to start would have been inside the expansive and gracious Jaha house in Shela on the 45 degree staircase where the infamous incident happened after all, that is the heart of the matter, and no one could ever undo it or understand what had come to pass so violently. In the night leading to the morning of April 23, 2020, Tekra is thought to have lost her footing, rolled down the stairs, and hit her head as she ventured 
to the washroom. That night, together with her rastaman, she was drinking inside their room at Jaha. Omar Lali told police that he found her at the bottom of the stairs almost immediately after she fell. Mimi kuna problem ya jino. Nikachukua, nilikuwa kuna pills nikatumia. Ya kana lazimisha tukunya tukunya nikakunya kidogo. Nika blackout, nikalala. The next thing, the next thing mimi nimesikia, nimesikia mtu ameanguka. Tuf, akapiga kelele mmoja tu. Ah. Kastuka usingizini kienda kumangalia. I'm a friend. I'm big popot. I'm alone with her. Stress is ganza. The 51-year-old father of five says he called in two relatives who responded quickly and took the now unstable Trekra to the nearby Shella dispensary. Tukaondoka hapo sasa hiyo. Tukabeba mpaka dispensary hapa Shella ndogo. Tukifika pale tukabidi daktari, tukashughulikia, baada ya kushughulikia, ikawa haimeshindikana tukasema kana twende Lamu. At Shella Dispensary, Tekra was injected with phenytoin, an anticonvulsant to bring her alcohol levels down. She was then referred to King Fahd Hospital about five kilometers away. The three men carried Tekra on a hospital bed and placed her on a speedboat bound for King Fahd in the dead of the night. Ah, uh, maneno. Ngai, shit, baka. Ona. Akwanakusawapi <laughs> Kabasa <laughs> dogo na dungwa shindano ameinuka kuinuka akukaa aswa ukisema kuinuka na maanisha ameketi ameka kama kuinuka vile alivyo kwa mwanzo na nilipo kwa hospitali kwa tofauti kidogo kwa sababu hospitali pia hata usaidizi wa wetu walikuwa kwa nyumba ma sister za Kamari waliwahi atakupeleka choni pia kwa miguu yake mara tatu she was getting better yeye akaniweka mkono hapa Mimi katembea na yeye paka choni yeye akaenda choni kule choni kumekuwa viti. Akaona kiti akashika mkulia akakaa kwa mkono mmoja akaweka kwenye handle hivi mkono mmoja amenishikilia. Akajisaidia. Mimi nikawa kidogo niko na imani kwamba by 8 o'clock ndege ikatua magogoni. Sisi tukatoka naye hapa mpaka kufika naye kule ni kama kitu saa 3. Wakam wakam tetea madawa wakam piga piga masindano na nini kumtuliza kamsha Omar kusa hata mimi nilishtuka yani Omar alimshikilia mkono tu hivi akaenda anatembea mwenyewe hivi paka choni kabisa hakumshikilia mmoja mmoja hakumshikilia mmoja mmoja just hand hata sisi wengine tukasema kwamba na hope kubwa sema huyu pengine ni bado olevi sasa inapotea lakini baadaye lokashangaa kusikia hivyo kwamba ameenda huko kwamba hakuanguka kabisa baadaye aliporudi jioni nikaambiwa huyu pia haiwezekani hapa Mumari amezungumza na mamake kuna ndege itakuja Also on the Amref plane to the capital Nairobi was Omar Lali After landing in Nairobi Lali had access to Tekra only twice and did not see her again He was booked at some hotel he says until one day when he was told that it was time to go back to Lamu 
nikaachiwa driver nikaambia huyu driver ataku drop guest house gilgil sio mbali sana na na house yake na house ya mama nikaenda nikakaa nikachukua mzigo wangu nikaenda gilgil nikakaa gilgil siku kwanza siku ile hawakunipita na wanambia mi driver huyo ni wako driver kisha kunibwaga siku muona te siku ya pili nikakaa siku ya tatu nikampigia mama simu kumwambia nataka kwenda kumona take to hospital asishike simu nikamtumia message nikamtumia message akanipigia after 5 minutes akanipigia akanambia she's she's doing well doctors are happy kwa na madaktari wengine wamekuja they are happy she's doing she's gonna she's gonna get better kama bila kinyesi sana mimi nitakonda kwa kusema ah oh, turusi kumuona anaingia mmoja mmoja kwanza anaingia mzee kisha anaingia mimi sasa nikafikiria kwani mimi niko na nani <laughs> sina mtu mimi na mimi pia mmoja na mimi ni gengi ndio sikupelekwa tena hospitali Tekra had died and police in Lam were on standby to arrest Omar Lali almost out of the blues law enforcers had decided a crime had been committed and it had been committed by Omar Lali Kaja zetu kufika mkoe kumbe wao wampigia simu kwamba Tekra amekufa tare mbili Mimi siju sikupigiwa na sikuelezewa kitu chochote Tukaja nikaingia home nikamwona madhe nikaweka mzigo tukarudi Lamu mimi kaiko ndani without questions sikwambia kwamba msana amefariki tofanya hivi nini ah tupa marinda it was saturday the second of march of may yeah saa 12 na nusu naiko ndani sasa kingia ndani i wonder me what is going on lakini nilikuwa nimechoka sikushika ile simu nikaiacha ubi simu mimi nikaenda nikalala the next day saa saba, ndo mimi naenda kuchukua simu kiangalia na naona watu wanatumia pole nini napigia mtoto wangu sichana wangu kubwa kimpigia walia kama mama walia nini huku mali ya wanaume nkawai kawaida ah mimi ulia na nyumba nzima ulia kama nyumba nzima ulia kuna nini kama kwa nini ujui kama basi juu kuna nini na mimi kwa nini tekra miku wa okay mkufalini jana nikapokonya simu that was the last phone call nime nimepiga nikapokonya simu akachukua mpaka leo sijapata which is okay i'm struggle hapo saturday sunday Mando kan pereka kotini 5 o'clock. Kenda kotini kasomewa somewa pale wakasema zatakao wakaomba sijatia wakili sijafanya chochote mimi wakaomba siku 21 niwekwe niwekwe ndani. Nini kakubali nitafanya nini sasa? I have no choice. Simekuja order kutoka Nairobi nikae kwa ndani. Sasa nikakaa siku 21 lakini out of those 21 days After that kulikuwa na holidays. Kwa hivyo nimekaa one month in total. And even after spending 27 days behind prison bars, the only suspect in the death of Tekra was never charged. Of the events of the night of April 23rd and the aftermath, but especially the latter, the 51-year-old fisherman says everything was happening too fast. Too fast giving him very little time to think things through but it was fine i did for her na najua hangekubali kama angekuwa anaweza kuongea hangekubali hayo yote yatoke sasa drama ndio ikaanza hapo naona matimu yanakuja mpegi masanduku vitisho looking for Omar. Amefanya maada. 
And even as the father of five maintains that he did not kill Patricia, police have a story of their own. Detectives say Omar, an almost illiterate school dropout, a beach boy, mysterious boat operator with no identifiable source of income, had something to do with the death of Tekra. The police story says, after a night of drinking and merrymaking, an argument began between the two, turning physical at some point. It was then that Omar hit Tekra and she fell down a flight of stairs. But police have been unable to prove this hypothesis. Baba, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Even then, the DCI had claimed to be in possession of enough evidence to charge Omar with murder. How, how, how would I kill somebody? I'm a bomber. I'm a sacrifice her life. I'm in Parohake Yote. Yote. I've been with so many women. Like in Miss Japan, Dokama, Tekral Vonipenda, it was. At a Sijuni miracle in Agani. Nani kono chungu. Kono chungu. Like in Suezi Gua. Kumchukia Mungu. Kufanya Kila no Chitaka. Pana historia labda on the day of the incident, detectives from Lamu visited Jaha House and interviewed staff and neighbors. Tekra was still at King Fahd Hospital and therefore investigators thought little of the events to follow. Staff as the 20,000 to 40,000 a night guest house went on with their business cleaning up and disposing of whatever they thought was not important. The next individuals to walk through Jaha House main entrance were another team of detectives from the DCI headquarters in Nairobi. There was little evidence to gather. Jaha House staff told the lead that the detectives only left with fresh oranges, juice and canned beans that belonged to Lali and Tekra. Omar speaks of Tekra and how she made plans to better lives. What might have added to Omar Lali's troubles were three autopsies that could not determine conclusively if Tekra died of the fall from the staircase alone. Dr. Andrew Gashi was clear that the cause of Tekra's death was blunt force trauma to the head. However, the doctor said there were multiple injury sites as well as deep injuries, suggesting blunt object blow injuries as well as a possible fall. Dr. Gashi said, that the injuries were not from a single impact. On his part, Dr. Johansen Odwar noted that although the cause of death was severe craniocerebral injuries due to blunt force trauma, it was difficult for Odwar to state if the injuries were from a single impact. Odwar wrote in his report, which the lead has seen, that there were severe skull fractures. The pathologists but more specifically, Johansson's report says that the injury pattern following a fall from a flight of stairs usually involves several parts of the body because of secondary striking on hard objects, going head over heels, or attempting to break the fall. In simpler language, what the doctors are saying is that there should have been abrasions and bruises on other parts of the body and possible fractures of the long bones. But in the case of Patricia Wangare Tekramuigai, there was only one major injury to the head and a slight bruise on her upper left arm, leaving more puzzling questions on the magic of how Tekra rolled down the staircase without bruising her body. The pathologist suspect there was another force. With that, the scientific analysis placed Omar Lali on his defense as the only person who was with Tekra Patricia Wangare Muigai on the night that she fell. I pray. 
the first day nikamwambia Mungu nilikuwa na mimi na tekra na watatu ulikuwa ni wewe May I leave everything to you On the 22nd day of May 2020 at the laboratory of the government chemistry Nairobi a detective Isaac Thiaka submitted a list of samples from Tekra's remains to be examined. The detective submitted nail clippings, stomach and its contents, blood, bile, vitreous humor, part of the liver and the kidney for analysis to determine the presence and toxicity of any chemically toxic substance. By the time a government chemist by the name Weibe was returning findings to the tests on July 9, 2020, The analysis indicated that there was nothing toxic detected in the submitted samples save for the phenytoin detected in the liver sample. The drug is an anticonvulsant which the lead was told was injected at Shela. Like to hata wengine walitishia tishia my sisters wengine hivyo. Tuseme kweli. Yaani kutishia namna gani Yaani kama usiku wa Umar alipokuja hapa aliporudi kutoka Nairobi kuja hivi tukasikia jioni yake kwamba mmeka ndani hapo ndio usiku wa pili yake asubuhi tukapata habari usiku jioni kwamba take na mimi sasa wewe sidi alikuja naye hapa tukaenda lamu kukutana na brother asubuhi Abdul yule tukaongea naye hapo akaongea mada mingi si ndio lakini sasa sikwamba sasa tusaidiaje akasema nyinyi mko visi brother yenu aongee ukweli tu kwamba ile demo limgo ah mimi kwa mpesa idi umbona wewe mtu mzima ongea maneno hivyo kurudia mimi wata tekra yoyote mtoto wangu ameenda pale kakuka hiyo gazi imesimama namna hii hiyo stairs ikiwa kosa step ikiwa na maji maji kidogo migutu utashuka tu kabisa kifo hakina kusukuma wala kunini bana time ikifika kuna unatokea una, una, sababu tu kwamba ameanguka amesukuma amefanywa hivi lakini siku ikifika huwa huna minsi lakini hakuna uwezi siwezi kusema siku yako eh siwezi kusema kwamba alisukuma alianguka lakini hizo ngazi zenyewe zisha tayari zishavunja miguu watu watatu na ile stairs ambayo uko juu yeye chochote uko chini lazima zimesimama hiyo nyumba nafikiria mkuiona nyinyi hiyo nyumba ambayo iko hapo hiyo stairs ni iko na nil inateleza kabisa sasa kuanguka hata kuanguka wakati ukifika utapata sababu yote eh kwa yoyote mlevi wao ana excuse kwamba huyu ni mlevi lakini ajali au siku yako ikifika wewe imefika sio lakini kwetu sisi ni masikitiko makubwa na kwa tunavamili kidini sisi kila mmoja kila kitu kina sababu yake na kila kitu kila, kila mtu akona siku yake Tekra's case was a sensitive one not just by projecting Omar son of Lali Omar into the national spotlight It also showed how a billionaire family would handle the demise of its very private daughter, a daughter who believed in the most simple things in life. So complex was the case against Omar Lali that it gained interests from all quarters. The DCI Lam was investigating and so was the DCI headquarters homicide unit. The head of the unit, Mr. Nyuguto, had personally flown to Lamu Those interrogated by detectives from Nairobi including doctors, family and friends say the team led by Mr. Nyuguto did not want to hear that Chekra was drunk on the night she fell. Wao kwa taki yule hivi kabisa hiyo kitu hata sijui kwa nini kitaja yule hivi aoneka. Maketa hospitali pia kwa barua pale kwamba kuna ambulance inakuja sijui kwenda huko. Sasa kabidi ile barua kidogo igeuswe kwa sababu comment kwa kuso jamaa yule demo alikuwa amelewa kabisa pombe. Sasa wewe akaja demo mwingine aitwa Chichina ni msahau. Sawa, tusubiri mmoja. Mhm, alikuja pale na akasema hii kartasi lazima tubageuze because hawezi ikiwa ni mlevi kwa ndege hatoruhusi. Kabidi igeuzwe tu ile pale sasa hivi. Kisha baadaye sasa hii kugeuza hata ile doctor akasema hii nafanya hivi kwa nini? Kisha baadaye lakini sikata kaita shida. Na ile shida hata doctor asema mimi kutahara toka kwa nini? Kwa kirimba. Nitaongea huko kweli. Police were playing ping pong with the investigation. In fact, a detective, Mr. Olang, at one point swore an affidavit seeking to lock up Omar Lali for 21 days in order to escort blood samples to the government chemist in Nairobi. 
The detective described the investigation as wide and complex. Even then, no blood samples were taken from Omar. It was not until one Monday when the DPP approved murder charges against the three-time divorcee only for him to make one sharp about turn. It has never been clear what had happened to the alleged sufficient evidence in Kinoti's office in just under 48 hours. When the inquest begins, among the hard questions, the greatest that will have to be answered is whether Patricia was murdered or she was a victim of the rare but fatal staircase accidents. And this is why family loved her. Kila moja liko mepangiwa? Na mama yangu wakanambia, mtu mwenye kukunyoshia mkono kukupa kitu, huyo ni mpita njia. Mtu mwenye kukufungulia maisha ni mtu wanaikupatia kazi ya kuendelea kwenye maisha. Na wengi kwenye family yangu, they were already. Tekra, wanalia paka leo. In several video and image files the leader has accessed for the first time, one gets the impression that the boat captain and the strategy director would form perfect goals for those who intend to play the game of love. In our week-long visit to Shela, it was clear that they missed Tekra. Omar says she was the life of the party. She has the best smile ever. Ever. Ile smile yake na roho yake zilikuwa hivi. Roho yake ilikuwa kismile kama ile mdomo wake ilikuwa kismile. Yeye kiingia 1 2 3 boom ana life. Watu wanakula raha. Party after party this is what she used to say. Party after party. <laughs> The fireplace where Omar and Tekra spent most nights before retiring to Jaha House still stands, albeit with some emptiness. Now I know what on the same I'm Chawi, I'm in Roga, Miss Jaroga, I'm too. What I see you, Kuroga. Nasijui, my penziet, my Tekra little coapi, he or Sijui. Like any, it was not normal. Sikitu Chakawaida. And even though say what on Afkiria, oh, Omari Afkiri, Omari Hatumoniku, Kufkiria, Kulia, I cry and I think. Like any water on the Fauti, water Omar spent the nights here reminiscing a lot of things, but mostly about Chekra, the woman born in 1990 growing up in the plains of Naivasha to become one of his prized female companions. I can propose to say, I want to go with you. I want to go with you, but I want to go with you. He said, I want to choose you. I want to choose you. And then Kenya Akasema believe Makaratasi, fish official Kenya. Na tulikuwa tusha organize kila kitu. Naivasha. Kila kitu tulishapa. Tulikuwa tuna na get married 30th of May. And then corona came and ruined everything. Omar says he has retired from being a tour guide and a boat captain. But he's ready to go back if this speedboat on the shores of the Indian Ocean in Shela is given back to him. The boat was bought by Tekra for her Omar early this year, but it has since been impounded by the DCI. I'm in a champion. 
Amenachia mtihani mkubwa. Na najua ni because of God. Ni mambo fulani ananifundisha tu. We contacted the Karoche family for an interview. But by the time the lead is going on air, the Naivasha family was yet to get back to us. Dr. Johansen Odwar refused to comment on his findings. Meanwhile, just like the waves of the ocean push back and forth on the shores of Lamu, so does the memories of Tekra. Memories that began on the 6th day of June 2019, but will live a little longer. Omar's younger siblings had been given jobs by Tekra within the Kerocha business empire. After this tragic accident, they have since gone back to the sandy beaches of Shela. But even with their return to familiar surroundings, things will never be the same. For now, Omar is a free man awaiting the findings of a yet-to-be-instituted inquest. Away in Naivasha, Tekra is buried and her family admits that she was a great brain. For the doctors, the case of Tekra is a big study calling for fresh research. Brian Obuya, The Lead, KTN News.